This is my hair when I woke up this morning. This is just after I showered. And this is what I end up leaving the house with. So what I'm going to do in this video is take you through the process I go through, including the products I use to manage my curly wavy hair. And to start off, we're gonna hop in the shower. Oh, hey, it's me, Jesse. I'm in the shower right now. I really wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys my rippling muscles, but there's a ton of like totally hot women who pay for that, so can't. Okay, now my hair's washed, let's go over the shampoo and conditioner that I use. Currently, my go-to shampoo and conditioner combination is the Goldwell Dual Senses Rich Repair. Now, there's a good reason I've chosen this shampoo. Allow me to explain. So I'll start off by saying it was never my intention to confuse you guys with math, but I've created this brand new type of system I'm calling a cost to benefit ratio chart. Now every product you can think of will fit somewhere on this chart, like Goldwell for example. Now this bottom left section here is what I like to call the drugstore hole. And in this hole are any of those products that you can find in the drugstore that cost somewhere between four and eight dollars but I'm not gonna drop any names. Now, believe it or not, there is another hole on this chart, a glorious hole that consists of the perfect blend of cost to benefit. And we are going to call this glorious hole the glory hole. And as you can see, the Goldwell Dual Senses Rich Repair Shampoo and Conditioner sit at the bottom of the glory hole, which means you're getting a fair amount of benefit for not an extraordinary amount of cost. Now, where a product will land on this chart completely depends on the product and the company. But for your go-to shampoo that you're going to be using regularly, I find that staying within the glory hole is the sweet spot. Unless you've got fuck you money, in which case you can go for things like Kerasas or Orbe or whatever. And this is a list of products that I've placed into my personal glory hole. Okay, right back to it. Now that my hair is dry, I move on to applying my styling product. Now I have a bunch of different products that I use, but one of my favorites is this Orbe Curl Enhancing Styling Butter. Now this stuff is really expensive. It comes in at just over $45 USD. But like I said, I have a lot of products in that glory hole that I do use on a more day-to-day -day basis so I don't break the bank. So once that product's in, I just scrunch it into my hair and then leave it to air dry for a couple hours. Now, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you'll probably notice that I'm now air drying my hair as opposed to scrunch dry, blow drying it like I used to. And the reason I've made this change is because, well, my hair has changed. As my hair is now longer, I'm having a much easier time maintaining the curl pattern and holding it all down just through the natural weight that my hair has gained through just growing. So take note, as your hair changes, you too must change your approach to your hair. So once that product's in, I just scrunched into my hair and wait, we did this. Okay, so we're back and my hair is dry. And sometimes if it looks good enough and I have nothing important to do, I'll just leave it here. But if it needs a little bit of touching up, what I will use is Bumblin' Bumble's Curl Reactivator. I've mentioned this stuff before on the channel. I like to think of this as like curly water. Sometimes after my hair dries, there are some problem areas or places I need to touch up. So rather than applying a heavy curl cream and potentially pulling out the curls, the reactivator does a great job of just sealing down flyaways and adding that extra level of smoothness. And then that's pretty much it. I just kind of touch things up where I need to and I like to do a little ear tuck thing here because I think it looks pretty cute. And then I don't touch it for about four or five days until I need to wash my hair again and I repeat the process. So that's it guys. I know a lot of you have been asking for a while for me to post my hair routine and I really hope you enjoy. But realistically, when it comes down to it, this whole process is what's working for me currently. And if there's one thing that you should take away from this video is that every hair type has its problems, whether it's fine, dense, coarse, frizzy, wavy, curly, straight, whatever it is, how to get the best hairstyle for you is understanding the problems you have with your hair, learning how to address them, practicing the techniques and developing a system, a system that consistently achieves a hairstyle that you are happy with. Glory hole. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I want to give a quick shout out to the guys in the Discord chat, subreddit community, and all of my new Instagram followers. Staying involved and engaged with the platforms has been paramount in keeping me motivated to continue with the channel, and it's been great to get a chance to engage with you guys in a way that goes beyond the camera. If you haven't joined those communities yet, don't be shy, we'd love to have you. And if you're interested in taking my approach to understanding and mastering your hair on a more personal level, there will be a link in the description to my Patreon page, where you'll have the option to work one-on-one -on -one with me, internet's famous Jesse from Jesse's Barbershop, using my hair mastery system that's designed to get you to a place where you're fully comfortable and confident in working with your own hair at home. And last but not least, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and if you're new here, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button so you know exactly when I come out with more videos going forward. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.